So now you're going. Last time, you definitely had us in the middle of some shit, and then it was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we laughed about it. Okay, you're up. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the 23rd Michael Jordan number episode yeah, of the High Vibe Guys. Um, My name is Jermon. How do we do this? Oh, yeah. Do I go first? Mm-hmm. I every, am Jermon Booz uh, of June Clark's womb. Oh, uh, mama, I didn't say that. Uh, next to me on my right-hand side, make the hood great with another hoodie. Um, Shout out to Rafa. Too bad I don't got one. Oh, yeah. Uh, you had to go garden. We was volunteering and putting the beds for goddamn place. Uh, you know, garden uh, we had to flip photo shoot. And yeah. just making that. We built the greenhouse. Um, my boy, Asa Bay, the scholar, um, Akil, um, is over there recording, and that was his introduction for the day. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Y'all, people be sleeping on the kill, bro. Jeez, the kill is a walking geez, bro. genius, bro. Yeah, a hip hop legend, genius slash entrepreneur slash dad slash good brother slash a whole bunch of stuff, man. Slash you know rain man. Bong Pats. bong bong. Yeah, I accept that. What's the other? What's the shit with the chains? Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, the whole is <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. The Mr. Yeah, for sure. That too. I accept that. I told Salim, we got to get Salim on here. I told Salim, I was like, I want to see you two just have like a, a crystal jewel <laughs> off one day. Flex off. Flex off it. You know what I mean? You motherfuckers are going to just be encrusted. Salim going to find some really big rocks and make some shoes out of them. And then I got these. <laughs> yes, yes. Salim, you how are you even walking with them fucking big ass rocks on your feet? <laughs> this Man. is fucking ridiculous. I'm grounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Fucking uh, in the worst way possible. Yes. Welcome to the 23rd episode of the High Vibe Guys. Good energy this morning, man. Had a green pear. Um, I plum. have plum. plum. Green pear. Plum. 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 Yeah, actually, I don't remember if it was from the Eastern Market or Rain Diver. That shit, well, that shit is 100 times. I, I'm not a big plum guy, but that plum is that fucking phenomenal. And you know how plums can be like a little tart or something like that. The skin can be bitter and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like this thing avoided all the bad parts <laughs> of a plum. <laughs> shit. Uh, shout out to the mother that made these fruits. Whatever green plum mother dropped hey, these man. seeds. Bomb. Shout out to Chef Ali again. She the one that put me on. Dave, how do we get sound effects in here? Like, I need a button. To, I need yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've actually got a cord that'll hook right into your phone. Oh, oh see, man. we have to. Uh, th- yeah, we this is the next the level next podcasting. Show. 15 um, minutes early next time. F- yeah. Shit, yep, definitely. We got the next schedule. Yeah, there's a ton of soundboards and that kind of stuff, apps you can grab. What? Nice. Oh, uh, this show is about to go to a whole different level. Beep, 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 beep. I'm telling you. It won't even be a show anymore. It's gonna be an hour. <laughs> it's an hour of sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Oh yes. man, the the people who actually do listen to us, which is weird because we do have listeners, will start telling us that the show is what the shit. <laughs> right. Hey, man. <laughs> what we on today, bro? What's the deal? I wanted to continue the car, the conversation we were having in the car because I thought it was about to get interesting. I thought it was going there. Neil, what's his name? Tyson Neil deGrasse. Tyson Neil deGrasse. No, okay. Neil Tyson. Neil Tyson, Tyson deGrasse. deGrasse. Hey, hey, guys. He changed his <laughs> name. <laughs> Bruce said, no, brother. <laughs> Tyson <laughs> Neil deGrasse grad. I like that. <laughs> Tyson Neil deGrasse Jr. High. <laughs> the black yes. science guy, right? Everybody yeah. knows him now, right? Yes. Um, The black... uh. Bill and not a science guy. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so in the car, we were going we were going deep um, just because I like Neil Tyson Degrassi. I'm terrible with names, too. T, I'm still mispronouncing your name in my head as well. <laughs> <laughs> Call him in, bro. Uh, no. Neil. 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 Call him Nilly. Nilly? Big Neil? Keep it simple. Big Neil. Neil, 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 Neil deGrasse Neil. Tyson is his name. Yeah. Neil. Be safe, yes. Neil. Say it one more time. Neil deGrasse Tyson. DeGrasse Tyson. Yeah. What type of middle name is that? Man. See, I jacked his name up. I I, I switched to the two last names. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. Neil deGrasse Tyson. All right, man. So we were having this conversation. It was getting deep in the car. Um, and uh, we were talking about, well, you know, can we, are you going to be transparent? 
Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, ain't like that motherfucker finna listen to the show. So <laughs> if he get offended, then it'd just be a That's the of... best way to do this, bro. It would be sweet if he got offended, actually. It would. Because then we'd be blowing so I'm the coming up. to your show. All right. Pull up. Oh, yeah, pull up. Pull up on him. We're going to get you to a real barber, my brother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'm your fan in the room, all right? So don't, don't take that <laughs> so, as a shot. I just didn't peep Imagine the where this is going. If yeah. that's your fan. You ain't had to don't say nothing. So you be the fan, a kill is going to be the bad guy, and then I'll come through with the with balance or something. With like the balance? That, so I could look like a good guy. He got the, uh, oh, man. Remember Moesha's dad? <laughs> <laughs> and that was like 1997. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It's like, he said, you know what? Do not taper it anywhere. Do not put a fade on it. Do not blend. I want it just lined, crispy. <laughs> We're not gonna have an episode. We just gonna have, have, have a show. Come on, come on. We gonna play right. this haircut for the next. So I can honestly go in on this haircut for a long time. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, all right, to the show. Right. <laughs> What's the scenario? So he talks about what the cosmos. Yeah, he talks about physics. the yeah quantum physics is a big one for him. Um, yeah, you pretty much covered, man. You pretty mm -hmm. much covered it in a very uh, general spectrum. That's his. That's his wheelhouse. <coughs> and. Uh, I enjoy it because I feel like it's pretty uh, informative, um, especially the shows he had. It's definitely. Um, Cosmos is definitely an informative show. Right. And I, I feel like, um, I, I was sitting in the car, I feel like he had uh, some allegations come, about, uh, come out about him, about um, like him touching ladies. And I feel like that killed his little momentum. Uh, there was one. Uh, and, and I thought he did possibly the best thing he, he could. Um, he addressed it head on. He didn't duck from it. He didn't run from it. He said, "Look, these are my recollections." And it's and this is where it gets weird. Like anything that's like 15, 20 years ago, you never know. Was like, it that far back? It, it was. It was a minute. It might. Have, it might. Have, it might have been. I'm pretty sure it was at least ten. Ten years ago. I'll look. But so, anyway, so what he did was he came out. And he said, "Look, those are not my recollections of how that went down." Um, I remember he. I remember the situation. Like he traced this lady had like some uh, stars or some shit, planets that like trail like in tattoos that like kind of trail to her arm or some shit like that. Hmm. And he was like, "Oh, that's Pluto, and that's Mars, and that's <laughs> 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 uh, yes." <laughs> like, um, I believe I thought he admitted to that part. Like he was like, "Yes, I did trail the tattoos with my finger," and then like. In between, like her, like cleavage was like the Big Dipper or some shit like that. I don't think he got that far Dang. though. But it, but that was like, like the I'm giving and Neil. I am sorry. I'm no, that's not quite accurate. But that was kind of the scenario. It was like he traced these different tattoos. He didn't go too far with it. It might have went down her back or some shit. They got video footage too. No, nah, there's no video footage. It was just oh, his. Uh, word so it was in uh, 2009. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so 11 years ago now, and um. I felt like it killed. Oh, so that and this is the one. So this is the one I was thinking of. There was another one uh, that lodged a claim that said something happened in 1984. So I mean, mm. now you're down almost 40 years ago. Damn. God damn. I know. That's that's the the price you pay for fame, no Hold man. On. You said 1984. Yeah. Mm. Didn't we just talk about mm. the so-called age of Aquarius? A yeah. lot of people speculate and say that, but that was the beginning. Yeah, you know, well, that's up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the astrologer, a lot of them are pretty watered down. But you know, that makes me the age of Aquarius because I'm an 84 baby, just like LeBron James and this motherfucker. What's oh, up? Yes, oh. LBJ, myself, and I can't think of nobody <laughs> else. Super yeah, that's it. We got more. We got some more. That's probably 88 you know. baby. Yeah, great year. And <laughs> Larry says it every bro. day. 79, bro. Jeez. That is that sounds like a terrible That's year. A phenomenal. What? It sounds like Reagan numbers to me. Oh my god. Odd number. Seventy nine? Yeah. That wasn't quite Reagan numbers, yeah. <laughs> Almost. He Almost. didn't become uh, president until nineteen eighty. Okay. So you you came into you were, you walked into Reaganomics. I mean the the death of hey. disco. The yeah, death of disco. Yeah. Listen. Hey. I grew up in the greatest era. We already had this whole show. Yeah, so uh, fucking uh, a boat. If we want to talk about that, a truck, I got, a truck. I got with to a, see everything. We had a conversation. Y'all came in the middle of the eight. The eighties were phenomenal. You but, had. We remember I mean, we talked about this one day where you had the uh, the the truck with a pool on the back of it. That you guys water. were fucking all getting uh, some water. type of weird the water mobile infection yeah. from. Because <laughs> 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 why is this water? Uh, <laughs> 
Why is this water kind of uh, has viscosis? <laughs> it's, it's like it's like aloe gel. <laughs> Mommy, my eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so I, I thought, like I did. I, I I think he did. He did the exact right thing, which was you know come out because I think too many people get wish. I think where people get burned is they get wishy washy. Yeah, and or they go into hiding, and because like in today's age. You you can't go into hiding because that just fuels all the rumors and speculation and all that kind of stuff. So he did. He came out. He addressed it head on and said, "That's not how I remember it. This is how I remember it." And he just said, "Look, and if and if and he, I think if I remember right, the way he even phrased it was, um, if in hindsight she doesn't view it with that same lens, mm. then I'm sorry." Mm. All right. Stand up. I mean, sometimes, I mean, like you said, that's probably the best you can do with them type of situations because 30 years later, it's going to be hard to recall unless you peel Cosby in this bitch. <laughs> he was literally dropping. The, hey. Shit, I'm keeping it real. He was dropping pills and people's <laughs> drinks. You can't fucking run from that shit. Oh, that nah, that, that you, ain't no accidentally you, like, nah, whoop, I, I dropped the ball. No, yeah. you dropped the pill. <laughs> <laughs> You're a com- you're a complete savage. You're a complete savage for that shit, Putting man. Putting anything in anybody's anything. Yeah, man. Like some to things are like state. you can you're debate. Right. Complete and utter savage. Uh, f- slip somebody a fucking Mickey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Peel. That's don't disgusting. die in there, bro. That's disgusting. Make it out, dude. I've uh, I was I, I'm, we've come to the conclusion it was quite accidental, but I got roofied once. What? <laughs> oh, uh, no. I was at a bar. Uh, I was doing a remote, actually, with a show. Um, and a female engineer was with me. And uh, she was sitting at the bar while I was getting everything all set up in the room. Uh, and she was going to run the show. And she freely admits she was kind of dumb uh, and left her drink on the bar when she walked outside to grab a smoke. Um, she came back, and I, it just worked out, luckily, like because I, she smoked, came back to the bar, um, I got done setting up, and I came back around, and she was like, hey, this drink's really good. You should try this. So I took a pull off of it. Without that, so we both wound up jacked. Mm. Um, but she would have gotten the full dose had I not taken a drink out of it. Mm. Um, it was a mess. Wound up going to the ER, uh, tested positive for ketamine and rohypnol. Um, and when and the, I will say this. The bar handled it phenomenally. Like when I, I contacted them two days later, um, the manager was like, totally take this seriously he called me back a day later and said look i need you to come down here um and had he put the video up on the big screen that they had and literally had to go frame by frame to see what this asshole did like he was so smooth you'd have thought he was just pointing at something across the bar or he was pointing at something for a bartender to get to when he dropped it in her drink um and so obviously they and then (laughs) The guy walked back in the bar. So obviously they had him on film. Damn. The guy walked back in the bar three days later. The staff was already called. The cops arrested him. Apparently he had like this just huge stockpile of date rape drugs in his apartment. He's still in jail. Um, but yeah, I mean that was that dude. That was probably one of the most messed up nights I've ever had in my life. That's crazy. You just made me feel that much worse about Pill Cops, man. That is you. You what'd it do? Where'd it go? Like because like <laughs> it is, it's, dude. It's one of those things where like dude, like I'm a I drink. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not a raging alcoholic, but I can handle my booze. Um, and so, no pun intended. And, uh, and so, like, and I'd only had like two vodka sodas by that point in the night. And all of a sudden, like, and it was quick, like within 10 minutes of taking that, dr- taking that drink off her drink, Damn. I was weak kneed. I was like, it hit hard. Hmm. Noted. That's uh, sick, bro. Don't go. Well, be careful, man. I guess that's what I say. Yeah, yeah. keep your drinks Same. with you. Yeah, that's what, that makes me think about a lot of things. So all that to get back to the Cosmos, man, is I felt like um, the allegations kind of killed this little momentum he had going because he was supposed to do a Cosmos too. He was supposed to do a mm-hmm. follow up, and I, I don't think it ever came out. Um, the second part to the uh, to the, I'm almost positive it never came. I I, I searched for it. I could. I don't think it did, but I don't think it was scheduled to either. Like I think that was always like a 2020 project, oh, okay. and I think like a lot of things that got shelved because of all this. Okay, mm. and um, all of the say we were talking about my man's in the car because, <clears throat> um, I was just telling Asa that I think he would dig the show, and then there was some conversations just kind of based around like whether or not what his, what his agenda is and who you exactly boot licking at us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is he, is he a bootlicker? Is uh, cause uh, he definitely. I haven't. I can't recall clearly. I've heard him talk about evolution, but. Um, 
you know, um, a kid was saying like, you know, he probably does. And I wouldn't, if I would be highly surprised if he didn't believe in evolution. I would be extremely surprised. Because, he absolutely does. Yeah, it definitely. Because I was about to say, he just seems definitely like he's in tune with. Well, that. he's a science guy. But I, what I would say that, uh, I w- and I, what I was trying to say, I guess, uh, the conversation kind of went to what's his agenda, and I think that he's truly man, just the dude who was from a different walk of life of a still a black man. And, like, I don't think everybody has that agenda that we kind of sometimes put on them in. I think it's just a level of perception of what the what – the, their perception of the world. And then I think we put, we attach the agenda to them based off of what we think about other individuals who are in that space. There are some people who definitely have agendas. Um, what's this – I can't think of her name. But it's this young lady who's, like, a, strong, a staunch Republican. And, like, she had that when um, – Diddy had the uh, – he had some type of like political conversation with Killer Mike, T.I., and mm. a couple other ladies. I don't know her name either. I mean, but you know what I'm talking about? about? Yeah, yeah. That's an agenda to me. That's so that's that that is you are going out of the way to to make a point to say, you know what? I am going to defend this to the till I die because I am getting paid to do it because that is what I so I guess that's why I, I will see is the difference. It's like there are people in this world who have very clear agendas. I I do agree that I'm talking about Candace Owens. Candace Owens oh, is, right. is bought. You know what I mean? That's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean? She's bought. It's, it's no, it's no ifs, ands, or buts. You can and look at she was mad they didn't let her talk at the RNC. <laughs> 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 I think she didn't I think she didn't play her hand though. You know what I mean? Like nobody really wants to hear it no more. And if you go back in her past, you will see her also claiming or being disrespectful about like police tried to uh I've, 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 the police tried to attack me and all this other shit. And um so yeah, that's the, what the, the funny thing is. The white people that I argue with the most on Facebook uh, are the ones that trot her out. Man, mm. it's inevitable. Like if, if I if I see a link to her that doesn't start with "f this," then I know it's it's somebody white <laughs> that's uh, that's about to try to use her as a talking point. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. it hundred percent of the time. Yeah, she's trash. Candace Owens, you are trash. Oh, I can't wait to get them sound effects so I can do a flushing sound right now. <laughs> <laughs> Akil, what's your feedback was on that? Neil? Wait, was that your? That, come on, that was man. Your your, bro, come on. Your All turn. Right. Neil, a- Akil. Uh, I mean, I don't really have, like, I'm super, super, um, I hate saying it, but conspiracy theory based in my thinking. Just a lot of because conspiracy theories are getting proven. Today, yeah, you so, know you that's know. why I hate because I know that term was created to put like a connotation on Facts. the information coming from the person spouting the quote unquote conspiracy. But I am a I'm a big time uh, follower of trends and follower of like you know if if a person believes a certain thing and is contrary to what I believe or whatever, then it makes it hard to digest the information that they are presenting. But I think that what we were talking about in the car is like, I think that's a very black or white approach because I think if I were to think about that, about everything we've talked about, it would put me in a box. And I would say that's why I like a lot of things I don't come into, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with initially, but I'm learning to be like, you know what? I'm not saying that you need to agree with them as much as they they haven't been presented that information before either or, or in the same capacity that you got. In. Well, and I say that because, like, a lot of information, I remember we were talking one day, and you said, like, I started getting this information. You start, I'm saying, beginning from your perception, per, from your perceptive perception. Perspective. 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 I mean, hey, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. It's your perception. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you said something like, I got um, one of these books in high school. I can't remember what book it was. You know what I mean? Um and, uh, be a hold the pale horse or something like mm-hmm. that, you know, something like that in high school. Mm-hmm. Imagine if that that's your education and your thought process starts to be redirected in high school and the person that you become as opposed to being represented that information at a much point of, at a different point of stage in your life and um having to include incorporate that into your perception of things, you know what I mean? And I guess it's like uh I I, I see you how they've been walking that line for so long that the information that you're presenting might not necessarily be um in line with the thought process. And vice versa too, you know. So I guess that's why I was like, I get where you're coming from, but I wouldn't dismiss somebody if they didn't have the same thought process as me. No, not dismiss, not at all. Like I said, I I really enjoy his uh, show Cosmos, mm-hmm. but certain things 
for me to for me to take to heart and incorporate it into my beliefs is going to take a lot of you know what I'm saying coming from my inner like my intuition is going to have to play a big part in that to be able to attach to it and be like okay that's something that a is coming from a source that I believe within myself. If Asa gives me some information, I I put it very high up because I know he's a he's got great character. His name starts with an A. That's the uh, not know. a yes. I don't, I that's don't irrelevant. Yeah. That is, that's not what? a factor. That is, I don't think. <laughs> what? Well, is that <laughs> a common connection? Well, oh my God! You, 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 point, a, you know, you know, one he day, A's? you know, you know, one day you won't be so handsome, right? You're gonna have to yeah, depend on you. something else. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's why he's got all those books, man. I know. Uh, yeah. no, but, I mean, but you, you, point, like, you, know, you like you specifically mentioned evolution. So, like, I I'm a huge science guy, mm-hmm. and and so like evolution is like, yes, it's absolutely a thing. Um, but if you want to find the like. Things don't have to be mutually exclusive of each other. Like to your point, like it's it's maybe maybe it's not even necessarily having the information presented to them. It's what is your mind willing to accept as a possibility? Like if you are willing to accept the possibility of a supernatural being, a god, a whatever, then you can accept that okay, evolution might be the what, God might be the how or the why. Mm. Because, you know, it's the, okay, well, what sparked that first whatever that triggered life in, in, in the oceans? Okay? Was it a meteor? Was it lightning? Was it God? You know, or, or is, you know, the, the air quotes around the word God, God being some, something which might just be a metaphysical thing which could involve lightning in nature and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, and that's, and I think that's where a lot of people get into, I mean, <laughs> talking about Facebook, um, everybody is so polarized that it's, you know, you, people are almost programmed now to not try to find common ground mm. or to, or to not even be willing to accept things. Like I, I got unfriended by somebody that I've known for 10 years yesterday um, because I point simply because I pointed out that something that she shared was from a QAnon group, and then explaining what QAnon was because she asked. Literally, those were my two posts, and then I and then I saw something and I went back to reply, and she had unfriended me. She said, "Bitch," <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm like, "I'm like, okay, so that's ten years that I've known you. I've helped you find three jobs over the course of those ten years, and okay, yeah." At, cool egos, man. Yeah, yeah. you coming, yeah. you coming at that, uh, that part of us we hold dear and near. Yeah. Perspective is so relevant, though. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I just put up a post on Instagram, not a, uh, not on my page, but on my stories of a giraffe, right? Mm-hmm. And you know how people do caricatures, like at the park or whatever. The giraffe was doing a um, portrait of a lady, but because the giraffe was so tall, you know, you see this this lady sitting down with her whole outfit, but on the, the giraffe's picture, he just drew like the top of a hat mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so perspective is relative mm-hmm. to the person mm-hmm. looking how you see mm-hmm. it another Facts. thing that you just made me think about dave was um when it comes to genetics you know what i'm saying our perspective like on a, on a mental level might be equivalent to like people's genes like some people can't eat certain foods and it's okay mm-hmm. other people like um this morning, I was talking to a brother. He can't even eat peanut butter. He never could. You know, he always had allergic reactions yep. or whatever. Cause His childhood something. sucked. Hey, yo. The, could I, he, man, could he, could I can't wait. My, one of my friends out. just discovered in the, in the span of a week, uh, she had a baby about a year ago, um, and discovered over the course of a week that her baby is allergic to peanut butter and eggs. <sighs> and it's, you know, one of those, That's I mean, you don't know until you know. Facts, yeah. facts. But, like, those were two... Scary as shit experiences yeah, for her. That's a good, you know. It, it, but it's a thing. Facts. But so, and it's it, like I know the uh, there was a meme uh, that was floating around for the longest time that's actually been updated, and I like the update uh, where it's two people standing on it. Like there's a, a six or a nine, depending mm, on how you look yeah. at it, and one person standing on either side, mm. one saying six, the other saying nine. It's mm. see, it's your perspective that really mm. matters. Mm. The update that's come out to that is well, no. What you have is two people voicing an opinion, but only one is right. Because whoever drew that there was mm. drawing either a six or a nine. So the fact is that it is either a six or a nine. 
your opinion is that it's 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 one or the other, but mm. the fact is that it's one. Mm. And I, and that's and that's where like and that's where so many things get weird now is people confuse opinions with fact. And and people are all about like I I think I, confirmation bias is a huge thing and yeah. answer hunting is a thing where I you know I will I won't take ten minutes to look at something that somebody posts for real but I'll spend four hours searching for something that agrees with what I think mm. to go ahead and post that mm. Mm. you know and it's it's just it's it's a dinner especially like it's gonna get hotter when oh, yeah. like over the next two months. It's it's gonna get worse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The cognitive dissonance is real, mm-hmm. and then you got just the whole the ego thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's all in the information. We say information age, or a lot of people use that term, but it's a whole lot of info out here. We need to have that spirit of discernment and the spirit to you know differentiate between mm-hmm. what's relative to you, because even though something might be true for whatever you know, we gotta rock with what's necessary for us. Everybody's mm-hmm. life path mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. different, mm-hmm. you know. That's hundred percent true, right there. Yeah. I was wondering. For, for, can I jump on this real quick? Go I for promise. It. For example, I um I see a lot of posts about uh, Jeff Bezos, right? Mm-hmm. Or Bez- Bezos, Bef- whatever. Bezos. Bezos, mm-hmm. right? And his net worth, one hundred and eighty-four billion dollars. The first man to do blah 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 blah. But a killer sitting across from me with a man Samusa T-shirt on, mm-hmm. whose net worth mm-hmm. was estimated at like mm-hmm. four hundred mm-hmm. billion. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So p- yeah. depending on like how you're educated or what or yeah. what you're familiar with or whatever, that's gonna be relative. And I, I was thinking too when Dave was speaking, kind of when you were speaking too, man. Like just thinking about science, science and it's kind of part of this conversation in general is like about science in general is that academia definitely works to preserve itself. You know what I mean? And like. Uh, that's that's where like I, oh it's a giant pyramid scheme it, it absolutely is so that's where like sometimes like with facts when we say facts that's why like I'm up in the air about evolution because academia is working to preserve that thought process because they've invested in it so much and it's along it's like with it's like with Egypt right Egyptologists in Egypt work to preserve those bozos they work to preserve the the teachings that they put down and these are people who not, aren't even from that land they came to that country 2000 years ago at the extreme most and they know this right mm-hmm. so they're not even the people who were the who are the ancestors of that land so they're working to preserve the history that they've built over the years and i guess that's where like i'm very open minded and i i i, I believe that things are uh, often a blend of things i don't look for shit <laughs> I, I don't do much research at all anymore I got people like Dave, Akil, Asa, when we come in this room, I'm serious, man. Like, your minds are kind of what lead me to um, my new thought process, and I might look up some information here and there, but I just don't have the time to really research shit like that anymore. Mm-hmm. See, if you want if you want a good, and this is, this is where I usually tell people, is if, if you want a, like a, just a good, quick, why evolution is a thing, um, I mean, number one, I, just current day, we see it with COVID. The, the virus itself is evolving. You know, there are, you know, went from one strain to 20 different strains that it's currently tracking. Um, but I always tell people, like, go uh, do a little research on the Galapagos, Galapagos Islands, mm. um, which is where Darwin was when he wrote The Origin of Species. Mm. Uh, that was the whole kind of foundation of the of the evolution discussion. Mm. Because ev- just because of where it is and how it is and, and what's there, like, that is such a fast-paced I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Example of evo- like things mm-hmm. evolve there, like birds, like over the span of like five years. He watched a, a family of birds go through four different evolutions with you know size of beak changes, size of claw changes, you know coloration changes, that kind of stuff. And it and, and my running joke is if somebody doesn't <laughs> believe in evolution, I need them to explain to me why the spiders in my garage are a uh, different color than the spider that sits on my bathroom wall. Mm. That tries to blend in with that color, <laughs> <laughs> but those sound like environmental changes to me. Not uh, which I, I guess are we saying that? So are you saying that the basis for all evolution is this environmental change and adaptation? In many cases, yeah. I mean, look look at I mean, just even things like skin tone. You know, so I mean, you know, skin tone is you know you look at you know as races migrated out or as people migrated away from mm. you know that original fertile valley. We didn't need as much melanin. We didn't need, you know, so that's why you have, you know, different colorations and that kind of stuff as a base. Mm. Um, you know, and it's, and that's, it, that's the kind of thing that takes thousands and thousands of years to happen because you just, you don't need it anymore, you know, but then you still have throwbacks. 
you know, you have, you know, people are still born every now and then with vestigial tails, uh, you know, just because things happen. You know, it's a thing, you know, we, we don't know what the hell the appendix is for. We still have one. All it does is eventually screw us up if we do something wrong or whatever happens and it gets infected and can kill us. But we still have one. It doesn't do anything for us. Um, but did it do something earlier? Who knows? All right. So this is a good segue because I want to hear these guys' perception. Uh, well, for me, perspective on these for things. me, for me, just real quick, real we got, quick. We got Tyson Weird. Turner, Neil, Neil. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than Neil. For me, the the world that I was born into was based largely upon theology and mm-hmm. science, you know. And you said theology and science? Yeah. I'm a, you know, I'm a thinker. I, I pay attention to stuff. So on one end, if you go by the overwhelming popular story, God created man in his image and the first man and woman were Adam and Eve, right? That's what we've been told. That's what we've been mm-hmm. taught. So where did evolution come into play? If that's what we were told and taught through the, you know, this is the per, this is the, Christianity is the big religion that mm-hmm. people follow. And if I'm not mistaken, it says we and us, like yeah. in our image, we made and all that, the lingo, like plural, like so, it was more than one. So entity. where, where is, where is the room for us to devolve into monkeys and then re, re-evolve or whatever into humans again, like? So then that that's an inconsistency right there to me. If we were to like like if theology and science was a truth like it just doesn't match right. right quite. So, so if we're going by science What about like when they say dinosaurs became birds? That's like I would say that it's like a uh when you say that's kind of what that is. I'm well, I, I'm not I'm not I'm I just giving an example. A, I'm giving an uh, example. Yeah, well, I'm just I'll, giving an I'll, example, I'll, brother. I mean, I also have a opinion about dinosaurs but that would be like a whole nother show man wow, drive it drive it drive it that some people like believe in dinosaurs show, like people believe in christmas and Santa yeah. Claus and so, stuff, yeah. so that would be we would we would go so far left in a show we that already, literally has 20 we, minutes we, left we can't go it. no left for it, bro yeah that's what I'm, I, saying. I'm curious though don't run away from it why it's, not maybe bro. a mammoth or listen, something like that listen get, that's not right, running right, away from right, it that right, is, write that down that'll be next time you guys are in the whole time i was curious that is i'm i'm all in on that one that's Come not on, running man. away from it. That's not running away from it. I am so but curious. And like I'm, I said, and, and on top of that, too, I am open-minded. I don't know what, what some of this shit, uh, 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 something that lived seven million years ago, the floor is the table. But the also, I, also you, okay, you, you got okay, it, okay so got also there, also there. If the first man and woman to walk on the planet was Adam and Eve, right? That's what we've been taught. I don't, but see, I. I oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's well, not is me. that what you were taught? No. As a kid? I, I grew up, well, kind of, but not really. You know, like, my, my religion background and all this little different. You heard the Adam and Eve story as I've a heard, child? I, I definitely heard it, though. That was the purveying story as a child. Like, you know what I'm saying? My, After they I cut didn't off have thousands to. of people's heads to, you know, stuff that mindset right, down. Right, right. Just keep that in yeah, mind. People yeah. don't want to talk about that. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot we got to, it's things. a lot we got to, this but is a giant onion we talking about. We're not talking about, like, so I peeling back the layers. So, for me, this that, is a that, huge, that, the Adam and Eve Oh, but I see, I see what you're getting at, whereas if you accept the origin point from the Bible, it's only 6,000 years ago. Exactly. That's, that's oh, where yeah. he's going with that. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So, oh, yeah. But I don't where, where, do, where are we stuffing all of this but, but, history into 6,000 years, bro? But that, but that, to me, is a Religion, that religion in particular, is not history or fact. I don't even that, that I don't even. Look but at it's that. taught as fact. I, I'm saying for me, I, in school, just for you, because yeah, you're yeah. you're a 35 year old man, intelligent young man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah. I believed as a child that to be true. Oh yeah, I, I mean, and it's taught right now. My daughters, against my will, go to a, a Christian based school that teaches that. Yeah. From jump, I have a, a 10-year-old, 11-year-old that can quote the Bible like, you know what I'm let saying? Me, so, let me the funny thing is, so could I at that age. Right? Let yeah. me interject real quick right here. So we don't, we're not in the business of bashing anybody's belief or anything like that. Not at wanna, all. We just want to put truth on the table and put things in their proper perspective. Facts. Because to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, all religions have their origin in the stars. 
you mentioned theology earlier, but there's a science called astro theology mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So if mm-hmm. you find like you know whatever you believe in, I promise you you can find that origin reflected up above you. Mm-hmm. You know in the canopy of the stars. Mm-hmm. You know if you go back far enough. Right? Well, and every origin, or excuse me, every religion borrows from prior religions. Exactly. Facts. Boom, you know, I mean that's go. that's that's. Yeah. I mean you look yeah. at. I mean like look at the tenet. I mean the. <laughs> The, the fundamentals, no, the fundamentals of Christianity boil down to, okay, we're going to take this from the pagans, in order to get them to accept us. We're going to take, okay, we're going to move these dates, in order to make yeah. it line up with their stuff to get these folks to line up with it, mm-hmm. and then you get into the whole. Yeah. And, and you're right. I mean, it is all you. You get into the councils of Trent, mm-hmm. you know, and it's a bunch Council of Council of Nicaea, a bunch of 25 AD, yeah. rich, white landowning dudes trying to tell a story. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, with it's a, with the a massive agenda Constitution 1.0. Yeah, with a, <laughs> with, a, with a massive agenda behind. Yeah, it. Yeah, I gotta say, when yeah. God, how, listen, let me, let me tell you how God. Put me in control, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's like that, that, that's why, I like, I don't even. The Bible is not even. This, to me, it shouldn't even enter the conversation. No, but it has to. I, it's not. I just can't rock. No, with but that. I, I t- no, but I, I see to if his point because it do, a lot of people take that it, as fact. Yeah, like, it, so it, it, mean, what I, what, what it, what I guess, I guess, like. You gonna, I, I, you're going to if you if you say that you're going to exclude a large percentage of let me tell the you population let me tell you, out of let me tell you something about them people let me tell you something brother bye, those, those bye. People, get out of hey, here that's what <laughs> we gotta, I don't hey, even, no, that's no, why no. I would never have that's why like some people I don't even have the conversation with because we're never going to meet in the middle because we're they're so far over there to that left or that right. I am a person that I try to I try to come to the middle a little bit mm-hmm. and try to meet fi- me in the hallway. Meet me in the you know let's let's meet in an uh, area where we can try to find some room to have conversation. <laughs> but if you are on Pluto and you plan on being on Pluto, then shit, there ain't no need for me to even fucking bring up the, no no real shit because and that's crazy. We're, we're going nowhere. Talking like about perception because they will look at you like you on Pluto. I'll take that though. I'll take that. It's so crazy, man. I'll it's take so crazy. that. Yeah, because I, I appreciate that method, though, because that's that's humility present right there. We need more of that. Who Back. me being humble or them? You, because oh. you come in. Look, I'm trying to meet you halfway. Like at least. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. That's that takes but, a but lot. But to me, that would even say like a person who won't even like dig into their own religion to get an understanding of how it was developed. That's the stupidest. Mm-hmm. That's thing that's what I say. Like since bro. whenever oh, somebody man. wants to talk religion with me, the first thing I always say is, "Are you sure?" <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Uh, boy, and oh then boy. I say, I said, and then the next thing, I, and then when, if they go, oh yeah, I'm like, okay. I was like, then I need you to tell me two things. What, and I always go to the same two examples. What do you know about the Apocrypha? What do you know about the Councils of Trent? Mm. And if I get a blank eyed stare, we can't have this conversation. It, it's just, it could, to mm. your point, it's not worth it. Facts. Because either, either I'm about to break you or, <laughs> or I'm about to piss you off and we ain't going to be friends anymore. Yeah. Like it's, it, that's just how that works. Yeah, and Are we like, talking about the Septuagint here? Okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. My bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry, fellas. No, nice. Big dog scientists. <laughs> scientists. <laughs> oh, <on> wow. <laughs> the Dave and Oscar show started <laughs> start next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this, yeah, no, like this is why like I don't speak to my grandmother about being a Jehovah Witness ever because it is absolutely no fucking point and even. T- Having some baseline conversations yeah. about how ridiculous it is. You'll get kicked out the family. Have you I, ever I've seen the, family get out my the South Park episode about Mormons? Yes. Yes. That is hands down <laughs> one of my favorite things that has ever I aired. Need to check that out. Um, <laughs> no, and the best part is, is even though it's South Park, and so it's ripping them left and right. They be dropping jewels. It's yeah. It's the, a lot it's of the truth. It's the truth. It's, it's the yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the exact truth. And it's the same thing with the Scientology episode. Oh, it's man. the exact truth. Uh, and then once you Aaron realize Ron like Hubbard. how the Mormon religion came to be, you're like, oh boy, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And then throughout the episode, Facts. they keep putting, no, this is a fact. Oh no, oh, oh, that was the Scientology. <laughs> the screen, like, oh yeah, the this Scientology. Is a fact. This is what they actually believe. Yep. And then in the Mormon episode, it's the background singers, dum 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 dum. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. about the elders, specifically grandmothers, aunties, whoever. One thing that we got to keep in mind as new new scholars or this up and coming generation, aka anybody mm-hmm. born between 1960 and 19 whatever, just so everybody can feel included <laughs> in the studio. 1984 baby. Whatever. All right, but the thing is, when it comes to the adults, when we come out the womb, we got to keep in mind the babies are wet 
in their mother's womb. They're extremely receptive, right? Mm. And the imagination is crazy and wild, mm. and p- the potential energy is present right there. Mm-hmm. When we get older and older in life, people get stuck in their belief systems to the point where they get literally concrete. Their brains are, di- are dehydrated, dried out. Dr. Keith used to call them raisin brains, <laughs> right? So it's true. It's, you're not going to be really su- the success rate, like changing their minds. You might mm-hmm. as well just chill for anybody listening. Just humble yourself, love on them for who they are, appreciate them, learn them lessons, and keep it moving. Take care Booze of your own. and throw them away, bro. God. Yep. Get out of here, mama. <laughs> uh, my mama opened my eyes, thankfully. Thank, thank God my mama got some sense. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna, this, uh, you brought up something about uh, babies learning. I had an interesting conversation with Tom. I can't never think of this motherfucker's last Hanks. night. No. You know the uh, Dave. You know the cat who owned the Green Garage. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Tom Brennan, I'm Tom sorry, Brennan, what? Tom Brennan. Is that how I say his last name? Tom. You know Tom Brennan. Off the top of my head, no. It's a white guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Because because we're all friends. We all, oh, no, I get to play that. Oh, there's a club that we all go to. And I, I do. I, and, uh, okay, so here's a, I he literally, wears glasses. I literally <laughs> had to. I literally had to explain to someone uh, about a week ago um, that Black Lives Matter was not like. Um, a unified governing body of all black people? No. <laughs> not, at, not at all. Like, I, was like, I was like, wait, you, you, you... I was like, let me let me take two mother may I steps back. Do you think this? Yeah. He was like, well, yeah. I'm like... No. Oh, 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 no, no, no. no. Oh, okay, oh, let, no. let's let, let's start there. <laughs> oh, is that... Yeah, no. Okay. no. Oh, I don't no. rock with them at... But whatever. So Tom, uh, that's another episode too. Man, Man we we gonna come back to that and dinosaurs. Tom was. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the weirdest episode ever. Black Lives Matter and then uh, ser- uh, Triceratops. All right. Facts. Uh, <laughs> Tom was telling me about learning and training, and it's just something I'm just putting out there. And he was saying, as a baby, you learn by exploring, by feeling. Oh, I have met that guy. I just I looked him up. That's a uh, that's my new buddy. Um, and um, you learn by exploring, feeling, and like when you're um, a child, that's when you're gonna learn the most. That's when you're the most receptive to learning. Mm-hmm. And he was saying how fucked our learning process, our learning system is, because as opposed to like figuring things out and being and having to have b- use your solution orientation skills, I'm just made that up. Um, <laughs> 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 we have the official as hell. So I was like, damn, you stand. Uh, so orientation. You we'd use one of the least effective me- methods where you put somebody in front of a classroom to force information down your throat that mm. you don't necessarily get to learn, use your mind, your eyes, and your hands to figure out. Mm-hmm. And he gave an example. He said, imagine if I to- I was trying to teach you how to ride a bike, and we had a year-long class where you just read a book on how to ride a bike. Mm-hmm. Would you be able to ride that bike when you walked out that room? Would you, would you go hop on you it would, and ride that boy, bike? Boy, you would run right into a tree. You run right Facts. into the tree, right? And Reason about how to uh, ride a bike. Because we learn through experience and use solution orientation. And um, I, it was one of the most eye-opening <laughs> things. I know. I'm using that all day, baby. Actually, I'm going to put a, I'm putting a patent on it. But, uh, but it, was one of, it was an eye-opening conversation that's based around how ineffective the, the learning process is oh, that absolutely. we have. You know what I mean? We don't teach people how to think. We, we teach kids how to parrot back answers. Yes. To, and this is why like, I've, I've had this argument with every HR department in any co- every company I've ever worked for, where if you give me the choice between someone who's just gotten out of school with a four-year degree or someone who's been out in the world doing it for four years, I want the person who's been out doing it. In fact, not even necessarily four years. Even if it's only a year or two, I want mm-hmm. that person because all, all the person that has the piece of paper has learned is what the book says. And usually the books are at least two to five years out of date, um, and and they haven't learned like what actually how how shit actually works in the real world. And I think, but I think that goes back to what I was saying earlier about how the academia structure tries to uphold itself by putting things in place to make sure that this structure stays solidified. You know what I mean? Listen, learn my bullshit. You know what I mean? Repeat it back to me, and then go in the world. And possibly add something, but only add to the shit that I gave you prior to you uh, walking out of this building. You know what I mean? How many times have you used the Py- Pythagorean theorem Yo. in your life? Like 11. You know, I use it daily. Did you daily, know that? Right. Bro, 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 this is extremely important. Did you know that Pythagoras, his name was originally Pythagoras? And to like mm-hmm. cut off the origin of, of make, his, his learning process mm-hmm. or whatever, where he got his jewels from, like they, you know, changed makes, the name later on? That makes perfect sense. Bro. Yeah. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, fact checkers listening, the word educate comes from the etymology of the word 
it comes from the uh, edge of kare, meaning to bring from within or to bring out, mm -hmm. like to pull the potential out of somebody. So mm -hmm. we, when we go to our educational systems, we literally do the opposite of what the fuck education yeah, and, means. and jails and prisons are all about rehabilitation. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Learned how to make uh, bars of soap and... Uh, License plates. License, License plates. plates, yeah. Well, shit, and jeans, and it's some Whole Foods. Oh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's a little Whole more now. Whole Foods had um, some prison. What were they doing for Whole Foods? What's Let me add that to my Whole Foods bashing. Oh, <laughs> 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 what is it, boo? <laughs> I got to look it up, man. But you know what, though? The, I will say this. The other day, I watched this video on Whole Foods as we want to bash it. And I will say, Whole Foods was definitely the leader at introducing organic and natural foods. If we want to. To the modern day world. Yeah, period though. I mean, like we can't. That, if you didn't have Whole Foods, there's a chance that we would not have natural and organic inside of our society right now. In the modern world, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, you can say that. That's fine. The, that's fine to add that. But the uh, same but, power system like took us away from. Well, that. what I'm trying to say is though is that if if you eat natural and organic, but you also they commercialized them, natural and organic, they did, it, it didn't exist, bro. For the most part, yeah. it, who, it was who not was the original. Uh, who who started Whole Foods? John Mackey. John I Mackey. like I like him. The new people, I can't I can't mess with it. John it, Mackey, I get my I take my head off to that man. Yeah. His vibrations in person, he really be shiny. Oh, you thinking about you he thinking off. about Walter Rob. Well, oh my bad, Walter Rob. But that's but you but he's bad. he's the one of the CEO. He's been around forever too. So but yeah, but yeah. Them vibes, he really he he bought that life, bro. Yeah. yeah, so yeah he vibrations over skin color. Walter Rob definitely got high vibrations. Damn yeah. it. You, you know what? We really gonna get Walter Rob on the show. Come on. He would I, come yeah. on there too. I, I think I can get Walter Rob. Let's he would get come it. on there too. Would that For be sure. your most? Uh, would it, nah, that's not gonna be your most uh, famous guest, Dave. You don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm getting questions from shows that are coming in tonight, and so I'm making okay. sure they're all good. We okay. gonna get Walter because my days are chaotic enough. Okay. <laughs> right. So you got that Darth Vader jacket on. No, so like, so it. just for, and this is like so like my day, my Thursdays. So I'm down here with you guys from eleven to one. I got a call from, with the city of Detroit that I'm taking from 1 to 2 while I'm driving home. I have shows that I'm running from my basement at 2, 3, and 4. Uh, then I'm coming back down here to run shows 7 to 9, 9 to 10, and possibly 10 to 11. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Sound like some boss moves. Man, good problem. I want to do some yeah. late night shows, yo. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. oh that would be fun. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Well, so, like, we had talked about that, about you guys changing to like maybe being a 5 to 7 show. Come on, man. And I'm not going to lie. The the, uh, the sneaker box guys that are here at seven o'clock tonight, they used to record in Royal Oak, and they're like, "Yeah, even when you reopen that, we ain't going back." Like, because yeah. because th this place like seven to nine, just I'm not gonna. The scenery is amazing. Yeah. Uh, sure. Well, and plus, and the restaurants are open, yes. and the bars are vibe, open, vibe, and, and it's. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, just it's. This is like you guys are always here when it's closed, you know, and you don't get the real vibe of this place. Mm. And me and Asa are not morning people either. It's like, uh, hey, to speak for yourself, I've been getting up early, saying, bro. I'm I'll Nine o'clock is early. not early. <laughs> I've been, I got up at seven today. Oh, okay. I am yeah. definitely no, Okay, well, I'm speaking for myself then. I am yeah. definitely not. I love I am, getting up in the morning. your boy. Tomorrow we got a meeting at 10 o'clock again. I'm like, it's my fucking day off. God <laughs> dang it. And I used to be the first one in there in them whack-ass 6 a.m. store meetings. Yeah, well, you a better person than me. The last store meeting we had, I literally fucking got there like, it ends at like 8. I got there like 7.52. <laughs> And I, I felt like, and it was like, uh, yeah, it was. Did you uh, get on the mic? No, nah, it was it was Carol, literally Carol's last meeting, and like I no, got I there. just stood in the back like a jackass. Yeah, I did, because yeah. I felt like a jackass. I was, hey. ooh, I was there. Uh, I think. Yeah, you were there, probably. I think so. But uh, yeah. we were supposed to talk about vegan shit. What time is it? We got six minutes. Anybody want to go into this vegan shit? For six I was minutes? gonna ask, is your guest? Do you like? Do, does your guest know how to get here, and do you know where they're coming? Because I'll go down and find them for you while you guys are still talking. He uh, definitely got the address. Cliff. Definitely know how to get here. I would say how to get What's in is always yeah. Yeah, because the doors probably, are still locked, so yeah, I have to go down and grab them. Yeah, he, he should be. Don't. Yeah, nobody knows how to get here. We normally, I normally see somebody and try to spot them, but uh, yeah. Sure, all right. Well, yeah, we just keep an eye. Okay. Um, because I was gonna say uh, to the vegan vibes though. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go on as left as possible. You wanna wait till the next show and start to show off with that? Uh, I, I guess we could. You or uh, um, we could do both too. Yeah. Where's Cliff? So part one, part I don't two. know what his ETA is. Find out right now. In the meantime, so Kill was bringing up, uh, I guess there was some ladies around him, and um, they were talking about how healthy they were eating because they were eating vegan. And we kind of touched on this lightly uh, here and there. And it's funny because I've been vegan for, I did vegan just, just to cleanse my body out. I had one on the trip, 
and like we was just like going crazy. And I said, you know what? I'm I am not eating meat or cheese or dairy or processed food for like at least a week and a half. Mm-hmm. And my homegirl was down, so we did it. And um, it's funny because like I know when you go vegan, do I you know. know do you know this person's name? Um, e. You don't have to say it. E, my homegirl. Okay, cool. Well, I can't say her full name because <laughs> but I go call her E. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Cause you know booze, my homeboy. What's his name? Bro? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm terrible with names. Cool. But uh, and I but the thing is, like a kill said, like a kill kind of was thinking about with these ladies is like it's so easy to eat nothing but processed shit. You know what I mean? Come on, mm-hmm. man. Let me get a let me get the uh, what they got the Impossible Whopper. Mm-hmm. Let me get that, and let me get an Impossible Shake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so actually, I was gonna ask you, like for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just because of the commercials that I've seen lately. For whatever reason, I've had like just this weird. All right, maybe I'll try the Impossible Burger. It tastes like a fucking burger because it has yeah, so it much shit inside like, of it. Yeah, it tastes, yeah. it tastes exactly like a burger. I've had it a couple times. Yeah, and, I mean, like they. Oh, so then, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes it, exactly <laughs> like a burger. <laughs> I mean, but the thing about it is, is that uh, it's like it, unless you're like, I don't want to kill a cow, then it, you are not saving any calories nah, or sodium that, or anything. It's just, it's just a fucking. I, 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 no, I'm good with I, like people are like, oh, you know, if th- this cow's name was whatever, would you still? I'm like, man, I'd be looking for one with my name on it, like a Coke bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Give me day. <laughs> Give me day to cow. Give me day. Yo, oh, to all, to looking all for my fellow w- ones named after my exes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> To yeah. all the vegans out there, we do have to keep in mind, like, when shit hit the fan, like, you really need to consider learning how to fish and hunt and things to survive, you know? Just in case, you know, the agriculture is different there in the garden and you're not talented in that area or whatever. So take that into consideration, you mm-hmm. know? And also keep in mind, vegan, there's not an equal sign where healthy is on the other side automatically, mm-hmm. you know? It's so many. Just because you're not eating meat and cheese, don't mean you're healthy, bro. Chill. And that was that was the point. Like these ladies were like had the flexing. not a moo ice cream right there. Ah, they were flexing <laughs> so hard. Oh, my vegan wait, wait. Vegan. And this would this would be Oreos are vegan. Are you tell me I'm not doing my part. I'm not healthy. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Twizzlers, <laughs> Swedish fish. There's so many vegan things. But these but, ladies was like flexing, bro. They was like, if you were listening from the outside, you would hate this. These are the type of vegans you hate. Like giving it a bad sh- rap. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, yesterday I had the impossible burger and girl, I I felt so good afterwards. It's Stop not like playing. eating a regular burger. It's exactly like eating a regular burger. The calorie count is worse is to very me. Except, similar. Yeah. Except you about to do more damage to your body because exactly. you know, they not your body about don't that. know exactly what to do with yeah. uh soy isolate. Mm. If your body cannot recognize what you're consuming, it's going to look at it and think it's a predator or some type of foreigner, and mm. it's going to act accordingly. Yep. Period. But I mean that that's that was something like I think that's something that we need to address on a bigger scale because the education piece is being completely taken out of the nutrition side because yeah. people are being bombarded with this quick. Now you can get an Impossible Burger, and it's vegan. So, and people equate vegan, like Asa said, with healthy, and that's just not true. And I would say vegan has been um, just like hip hop commercialized to Facts. take to take the take the the, new, the substance out of it. Mm-hmm. And what, that's what goes on in our country. It's like, oh shit, how can I make a buck off of that motherfucker? Mm-hmm. Make a whole lot more bucks when you don't got to put any real ingredients in some shit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And like, and some things. I don't think that was our guest. That lady with the do rag on. No, somebody, <laughs> somebody that's pulling up looking for a parking spot. Didn't look, quite look like they knew where they were. Is that clue? That's his whip. Um, I'll walk down. But uh, yeah, just to say that, like, um, I've realized that, like, even when we speak to Oreos, they're vegan, probably because they were like, you know what, we don't got to put any real fucking ingredients in this shit and still mm. make it tasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Like, this cream ain't cream no more. This chocolate ain't chocolate no more. White you sugar know? vegan. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There you go. There you go. You know, keep mm-hmm. keep it a buck with yourself. And um, but yeah, it's 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 easy to get hooked on the process shit, man. That shit is addictive. This is where I was going earlier when you mentioned organic. Mm. So the word or and etymology is real, people. Yes. Etymology. Yeah. Google mm-hmm. it. Study it. Make that a part of what you teach your babies if you homeschooling. Mm-hmm. The word organic comes from a word arajum, Arabic, or Aramaic word arajum, A R A J U N. 
and it means to return or it's the name of a circle like nature like when the trees fall off a tree it goes into the ground and then in the future you might see those same minerals in the damn human body somewhere or whatever or in a in a fish or in the ocean or whatever you know what i'm saying it's the circle of life that type of vibration that is what organic really means when we start seeing it now in the stores you mm -hmm. got to keep in mind when we see our organic when we walk into trader joe's health uh, whole foods wherever your favorite store is that when it's labeled that means that those companies you know dapping hands with their homeboys and they got to pass on mm -hmm. the ability to label it like that mm -hmm. it's not even a hundred percent uh organic most of the time you mm -hmm. know if you want to if you want to be scientific about it but um it yeah, depends on, it depends on the grocery store because whole it'll foods keep, yeah because whole foods put standards in place to make sure that if it says organic then each piece of the process is organically certified but that, that, that but i'm saying when they certify it those particular standards are not equivalent to our June, the original meaning uh, of organic okay, because okay, they okay, coined okay. the coined the names you I know, got know? You. like what I you got said you. with hip-hop and I everything got you. i got you and then organic farming is just you know, they got they got documentaries on our, how, how organic farming is destroying the land. So, oh, uh, but uh, yeah, we could wrap this up. Cause our a, guest a just stepped in. Just walked in. We gonna we gonna wrap up this episode of the High Vibe Guys. Y'all wanna do any quick appreciations? We gonna do that shit in a minute. Yeah, 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 for sure. I wanna Go give ahead. a shout out to my grandmother. She's an ancestor, but it's all good right now. Cause a lot of people be complimenting me on my love and my vibes, and I gotta. Throw it back to my, that's in my genes. She was loving on my mama. Her mama, my grandmama's mama was named Honey. You know what I'm saying? So you can just imagine what tip they was on. Mm -hmm. But I just want to give a shout out to the ancestors. All praises due. And I'm going to pass it. Uh, along them same lines, that's crazy that you that's crazy. went that way. Because I saw, that's crazy. That's I saw Baba Kabaka yesterday at Whole Foods. And we was chopping it up. And his energy can is you, always so. Can you please give us an example of what that energy was like? <laughs> oh, you know, Baba Kabaka's energy is phenomenal, bro. You know, but so you know, some of the conversations be a little. Can we get a know, voice? Can we get a voice impression? You do Baba Kabaka good. I, I don't. I don't do Baba Kabaka too good. I was gonna say something. I'm not gonna say it now. <laughs> you're, a savage. you're a savage. Let me grab my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say something. It's winter time, but I'll be right back. I yes. see some ladies. Yes. Yeah, he was on that tip yesterday. <laughs> he was definitely on that tip with the ladies. But he just have good energy, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to, to our elders for holding us down. The real us. ones, not old crusty people sitting on your motherfucking couch eating donuts and watching soap operas and drop the ball. Thank you to brothers and sisters <laughs> like Baba Kabaka. Bang, and bang, bang. I'm just, hey, it is, is what it is, man. Why does episode go so hard on old people, man? Hey, L means light. Facts. Light bearer. Elder. Facts. A carrier of light. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to the real ones. Thank you, Baba Kabaka. Thank you to <laughs> Baba Malik, Yakini, et cetera, et cetera. Big facts. Mama Jendaya, my bad. Your turn, bro. I'm a little Mama <laughs> passionate Ayana. about this. Yeah, that, that, was, that was it, though. That's all, all right. I got. Uh... Cliff, no, you can't speak yet. I was just, I was just acknowledging. <laughs> he said, you ruined my you can't, you can't speak yet, even though I'm talking directly to you. <laughs> uh, we got a, uh, I guess where our next show came in a little early, but I'm gonna do my appreciation real quick. I'm gonna shut up. I, I'm gonna appreciate. It's gonna be weird, but the goddamn sun, um, the sun, just because like it, when it got cold, I said, damn, we had summer this year. You know what I mean? Like it seemed like the shit got skipped the fuck over. And like I said, I need two more warm ass weeks, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like buddy. I really, I really wanted that shit for my own selfish needs. Um, so shit, <laughs> it was, it was very selfish. I got solar <laughs> panels. I need them. I need, I need <laughs> that sun up in the motherfucking sky. Um, and I got shit going on. But uh, man, you know, you said so. I'm, I, this year is probably one of the years where I appreciated the sun a little bit more. It was nice to be outside. It was nice to fish. I started a garden this year, um, and it fucking did phenomenal. Um, I've been riding my bike fucking every day. And it's one of those times, man, we recognize that for me, this was something like, damn, I, I really appreciate that motherfucker. You know, like, it's the giver of life on this motherfucker, but I think, we t like, for everything, like we talked about earlier, it's easy to take for granted, man, because it just seems, like, so insignificant in your day. And um, so I fucking appreciate it for me, but that's just what, what my mind and my thoughts process was today. Um, that was the best appreciation thus far. Shout out to the sun. All right. For sure. Akil, you want to – well, I'm going to wrap it up. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Bonk, bonk. And uh, we're going to close this out this uh, 23rd episode of the High Vibe, guys. Thanks for listening. Peace. Peace. Peace.